I've also worn the same underwear to every game since freshman year of college. You can tell, been through a lot here. <laughs> been blown out a bit, so lucky underwear. Cold brew. I usually go grande, but Tuck hooked it up. Tuck hooked it up with the venti. You need some extra juice. You need some extra juice today, you know? Downtown. Mile High City. Yeah. A lot's on the line. <laughs> a lot's on the line. Denver's a extremely special place for me. You know, I, I have so many friends and memories that I've made here. Obviously, winning a national championship at the University of Denver is so high in my uh, lacrosse experience. Playing under Coach Tierney and, and, and all the, the coaches that I had out here in Denver and on all the relationships I made and, and all the opportunities that really opened up for me. It doesn't really matter who's out there right now. There is no kryptonite currently for Trevor Baptiste. It's a place where I really turned a corner in my in my life and career as a lacrosse player. <laughs> Pio till I die. So it's pretty uh, special to be able to be out here again with the Atlas, baby. Let's go. Talk? What do you say? Talk? <laughs> Let's go. Packing the mills, gone. She like how it smell, cologne. <laughs> huh? Do speed on it? Is it on this side? Look that. You look good. I like the You like it? I'm trendy. I'm from Denver. It's my city. It's gonna be tight on the bus. What's up, speed? What's up? So a lot of people don't know this, but I actually started taking face-offs the end of my freshman year, started with my sophomore year, pretty late in the grand scheme of things. I would face off against my coach after practice and he was like, yeah, like I'll teach you how to face off. Like we need a backup. We think you'd be really good. And we're just like going head to head, like really grinding against each other. And then I started starting for high school and then started doing it for my club team. And then just all stuff. The rest is history. Yeah, the rest is history. And it was kind of crazy how, uh, you know, my journey to the University of Denver and, and getting to a top division one school wasn't something that I thought was ever gonna happen, especially when I first started facing off. I didn't know you brought those. I did. Nice. <laughs> you got something to say for you? Yo. Too ticklish for that. It's our guy! <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I just like to have fun, you know? I like, to, I like to have fun in whatever I'm doing. I love lacrosse, I, I love facing off. I love being with my teammates and my best friends out on the field. Those emotions, I feel like I like to carry over into my game. Face-offs are interesting because every time you go on the field and you come off, it's very uh, binary. So it's like, you either won or you lost, you know? And, and a, lot of the, a lot of times that can put a lot of pressure on you. I don't think any position on the field has that hard cut of, did you win or lose every single shift? I remember when I was going into my junior year of high school, I was facing off at this club tournament and this, and this kid just absolutely kicked my teeth in, like just crushed me. He was also from New Jersey and I, and I couldn't buy a face off win from him. You know, I, I think in that moment, with someone who's really competitive, you could either look at it and say, wow, like, maybe I should just quit. Like, I, I kind of suck, you know? <laughs> or, or you could look at it like, you know, I got beat up today. That guy was better than me and just keep grinding. And then uh, that next year, we were trying out for this team and I ended up just crushing him <laughs> in, the, in the tryout. And uh, it was kind of like an eye-opening experience for me. You know, you gotta, you gotta enjoy winning. Obviously, everyone enjoys winning, but you gotta find the drive and the positivity and the excitement in, in getting beat. And all that stuff gets me excited. I mean, I look at this opportunity that we have to play at a professional landscape, get paid to play this game, travel around the country to play and teach this game is, is an amazing opportunity. It's something that I like to smile about, something that gets me excited. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Blind squirrel finds it that Kind of how my story went, you know, kind of starting late. And it was all about just working hard out there and having fun doing it. And that's something that 
I just try to stick with me as I keep playing professionally and hopefully until I'm done playing. Back Can you stitch this? No. <laughs> I do wash them, okay? I wash them. I felt like I never washed them. <laughs> Get a little, uh, little <laughs> blowout. <laughs> blowout underneath. <laughs>